Hello and welcome back to the Surfminer YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a very cool technique to record smooth camera motion on your server. This can be used for a variety of purposes, for example creating trailers for your server. First you're going to need Camera Studio. Simply click the latest download link for your version of Minecraft. And extract the file you downloaded to a folder of your choice. It should contain a couple of files like these. To use these with the new Minecraft launcher is a little bit complicated. Start your launcher and create a new profile for use with Camera Studio, called something like Camera Studio. If you haven't already downloaded the 1.6.2 YAR, select Release 1.6.2 and hit Save. Then click Play to download the JAR file. Once your Minecraft is booted up, you can close it again. After that, find your .minecraft files on your hard disk. It should be located in a path like Users, Your Name, App Data, Roaming, and called .minecraft. Double click on it and find the Versions folder. Then duplicate the 1.6.2 folder and rename it something like 1.6.2 Camera Studio. Then open it and rename both files. Once you rename both files, edit the JSON file with a text editor of choice. Find the ID line and change that as well. Hit save and close it. Now open up your Minecraft launcher again. Edit your Camera Studio profile. For the version it should now have a release called 1.6.2 Camera Studio. Select that and hit save profile. Now open the 1.6.2 Camera Studio jar with a program like WinRAR. First delete the meta in folder and drag the files you downloaded from within the Camera Studio folder to the jar file and hit merge. You have now installed Camera Studio to your Minecraft jar file. Once you boot your Camera Studio jar it should load the jar with Camera Studio installed. You can now join your server. As you can see Minecraft is showing the Camera Studio alert meaning that you successfully installed Camera Studio. Next make sure that you are in creative mode or a mode that allows you to fly. To open the Camera Studio menu hit O. This menu contains various options to configure Camera Studio. A couple of important options to note are the Cam P shortcut, which is P by default, the third person options, which allow you to use the camera in a third person, meaning you can re record yourself, and the Cam Roll options. I would recommend setting the Cam Roll options to some keys on your numpad, like 4, 5 and 6. Hit done. Now, when you press the 4, 5 and 6 keys, you can roll the camera. And when you hit the P key, it will create a point for your camera path. If I create a couple of points around this building, for example, I can hit the cam start 10 seconds command to go through that camera path in 10 seconds. As you can see, my character is now flying around the camera path in the time I specified. You can use this technique to easily create cinematic shots of your server builds or anything on your server. Camera Studio will automatically create a smooth path if you have the auto spline option selected. If you want to stop the camera playthrough you can type the cam stop command and it will stop. If you want to delete the points you can type the cam clear command and it will remove all points. Please note that these cam points also take roll into account. So if I create two points on the same spot with a different roll, it will create an animated camera roll animation like this. You can also record yourself using the third person mode. Just hit O, go to the third person menu and hit on. Now when you create a path, for example if I follow this road here, and go down to the spot where you want your player to be and type cam start 10 seconds it will still show your player so I can move around, look around and film myself doing things. 
Another very neat feature about Camera Studio is the Elastic Time function. Elastic Time allows you to specify the length of day and night. To use this, just type the slash et command. It will show you if it, whether or not it's active and the time of the day and time of the night. To change the times, simply type slash et time of the day and time of the night. As you can see, both times are now 10 seconds. To enable it, type slash et on. As you can see, night now lasts about 10 seconds and the daytime lasts 10 seconds as well. This is very cool for making static shots of builds on your server, making it look like they're time lapsed. To disable elastic time, just type ET off. You can automatically enable elastic time during recording from the options menu by clicking auto elastic time. These techniques can be used to create a great cinematic view of your server, which you can use in trailers or other videos. It works fine in multiplayer as long as you have flying permissions, like creative mode or a plugin that allows you to fly. Only the players who want to use Camera Studio have to install it. Other players don't have to install anything to enter the server. Nor do you have to install anything on your server itself. Please note that to record the techniques mentioned before, you will need your own screen capture program. Camera Studio features its own recording program which can be used to film third person while playing from first person, but we will go over that in another video. For now, that's it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to get your server cheap at serveminer.com.